everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be cleaning our spare room using these natural cleaners cleaning this room this is our spare room but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so today I'm going to be cleaning this room this is our spare room and unfortunately as you can probably see it's become a bit of a dumping ground in here we normally put stuff in here before we then put it into the attic but we've just forgotten to put it into the attic basically so it stayed in here I think we've got a Christmas tree and a few other bits so my job today is to basically tidy this room and put stuff into the attic I'm also going to be sorting through stuff as well and taking some bits to the charity shop and the dump and I may do a separate video on that as well um, but for now I'm just going to tidy in here and then I'm going to clean using these products we don't actually have much furniture in here to clean today but I am going to be cleaning this window and I'm also going to be cleaning the shelf and the side cabinet and that's about it really but I'm going to be using these to do that I've used these in previous videos and I really like using these products these are really great products and I will talk more about these in the video but for now here is how I've cleaned to start the clean I remove the items from the spare room and put them into the hallway I will eventually put these items into the loft I can't remove everything as there are quite a few boxes in here that need to be put away we tend to use this room as a bit of a dumping ground as I mentioned in the intro so I've been meaning to clean this room for months now and I'm so pleased I can finally do it since I started spring cleaning my home I've always wanted to spend time in the room I've just cleaned I even wanted to sit in the smallest room which was the laundry so today I can imagine I want to spend time in the spare room with no furniture in it so once I've removed as much as I can I then open the loft hatch and pull the ladder down this ladder is not the easiest to manoeuvre on but somehow I manage it today now I'm going to start to bring the items up from the hallway this job took a long time to do but it was worth it in the end there were lots of items to be put away so I started by making a pile of items in the middle of the floor then I brought up the boxes suitcases toys etc one by one once the floor started to get covered with items I then came into the loft and started to put items away into the relevant places our loft is beginning to become very full with Ted's old clothes so I'm not sure how much more we can fit up here we're doing our best to squeeze it all in though we like to keep items together in our loft for example we put all the Christmas decorations together Ted's clothes are all together and Ted's toys are all together too once everything I want is in the loft I then start to look through the bags that I've been storing in the spare room there are bags in this room for the dump and a few bags for the charity shop too the toiletries I'm going to take to our local food bank food banks are in need of toiletries in some areas more than food so at least these won't go to waste the toys I also took to the local church just in case we happen to walk past the charity shop and Ted sees his toys in the window he may decide he wants them back so I thought it was safer to take them to a place where he doesn't go touch wood so I've sorted through the bags and I remove them from the room and I start to dismantle the fire guards next these fire guards we had protecting our furniture and everything inside the furniture from a certain little boy who used to love to explore everywhere 
Ted, my son, is no longer in the habit of taking everything out of the drawers and cupboards, so I think we're safe to remove these fire guards now. I have the fun task of dismantling them, which doesn't take long, and I've also decided to put all of the bits that come with the fire guards into these bags and tie them around the fire guards, just in case we need them in the future. I will be putting these into the loft with a couple of other bits that have been sitting on the bed. I put the items in the loft one by one. I find this the easiest way as a few of the items are quite bulky and I have to take extra care on the ladder with these items. Once they are up, I close the loft hatch and that is everything in the loft. Finally, now everything is out of the room, I can start to clean it. As I mentioned in the intro, we don't have a lot of furniture in this room as we don't use it too often. So I'm going to clean the shelf with my Method Furniture Polish. I've used this in previous videos and it's definitely a favourite product. Method make non-toxic cleaning products that contain no chemical nasties. I've loved using their products to clean my home with and I would recommend them to a friend. I'm also going to clean the bedside cabinet in here with the Method Furniture Polish and then I move on to cleaning the window. For the window, I'm going to use the Circair Washing Up Liquid and a few drops of Organic Essential Oil. Again, I've used Circair Washing Up Liquid to clean all of my windows in my home and it's done an amazing job. Circair are another company that make non-toxic cleaners and I will link both of these companies in the description box below for you. So I clean the windows with my washing up liquid mixture in the bowl and I also clean the frame as well. I forgot to mention that Circare washing up liquid is fragrance free so you can add essential oil if you want to. Once the window is washed I then dry it with an old newspaper as I still find this the best method for no smudging. And that is this room clean and tidied. There are still a few items in here that need to be put away, but I'm going to get my husband to help me with these ones as they're quite bulky. Apart from that, the whole house is now clean and I'm so pleased I did it with natural and organic cleaners. Again, I've not been sponsored by any of these companies to make these videos. I just really enjoyed using their products. That's my whole house spring cleaned. I have got the back garden still to do, but I'll be doing a video on that later on in the year. And I will also be doing a video of where I take my stuff to. I'm now off to enjoy a nice, well-earned cup of tea as well. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Have you been spring cleaning your homes? And how's it going? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.